In this episode of Mod Mondays, we're going to be doing a detailed step-by-step -step install of this Pinsu rack on this brand new 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's go. Let's quickly go over what's required for this installation. All these products will be included in the description box below. First, here's some decals together with a pack containing the hardware we'll need for this installation. Each of the separate packs are labeled for the appropriate part of the roof rack. One for the windscreen, roof rack, crossbars, and one for the hooks. Next, here's the wind deflector which comes with a noise reducing trim. The wind deflector feels premium and lightweight and comes with the crossbars needed to attach it to the rest of the roof rack. This set came as part of the kit that I bought from Capit Canada. And here are the side rails. These are also very light and feels very sturdy. We're going to be attaching the wind deflector and the crossbars to these. Lastly, here are the crossbars. Please note that one side has a hole to attach the accessory mounting location. Let's start this installation by prepping the wider stripping and the mounting holes on your truck roof. You're going to need a step, pry tool, screwdriver, and a tape. Start by prying the weather stripping at the rear of the truck up and then pull the longer section out. We need this step to find the mounting holes under. Grab your tape, screwdriver, and a marker and locate the mounting holes. There's two at the rear under the colored match tape, one in the middle, and two at the front. Grab your tape and place it on the center of the mounting hole. We're going to use this as a guide to transfer the locations to the weather stripping. Do this for all five locations. Once this is complete, grab the wetter stripping and line it up parallel to the original location beside the tape. Then use your marker to transfer the location of the hole to the wetter stripping. Repeat this for all five locations and on both sides. The next step in this installation is to install the spacers. This will ensure that the roof rack is not directly touching your truck. Grab a 3 quarter punch tool and a hammer and start lining up the punch tool to the center marks you just made. Carefully hammer out the holes until the punch tool goes through the rubber and the metal piece at the bottom of the weather stripping. Using this tool allows for a cleaner cut but this step can also be done using a drill press or the knife and snip combo. Repeat this step for all the mounting location and place the weather stripping back to your Tacoma. Make sure that all the holes line up perfectly with the mounting locations. After this, grab your silicone and your spacers that came with the kit. And then apply a generous amount of silicone in the holes. This will ensure water from rain or snow won't get inside your Tacoma. Simply insert the spacers after and repeat this for all the mounting locations on both sides. After installing the spacers on your roof, let's now put together the wind deflector and the noise reducing trim. Simply insert the trim to the edge of your wind deflector. Make sure that the flat surface is on top and that the edge trim is attached properly. Please note that there will be extra trim that you'll need to cut using snips. Do this on both sides. After installing the trim, Let's now attach the wind deflector to the silver crossbar. 
The kit comes with Loctite, all the required screws, nuts, and washers. We're gonna need to align these lock nuts with the mounting holes. Grab the lock nut and slide these on the tracks making sure that they line up with the holes. Make sure that the flat surface is facing down. Please note there's a total of 10 lock nuts that you'll need to align. Once this is complete, Align the wind deflector up to the crossbar, making small adjustments to ensure that it's properly aligned. Then open the Loctite, apply it on the screws, and start screwing these on. Hand tighten these and repeat this for all 10 locations. Then grab your Phillips screwdriver and completely tighten all the screws. The next step in this installation is to attach the print two parts together. You're gonna need to attach the crossbars to the side rails and the wind deflector at the front. I'm attaching the rear crossbar standing up and not flat so that it clears the truck's antenna. All the hardware required is included in this kit. This includes all the screw, washers, and Loctite. Similar to the previous step, open your Loctite tube and apply it on the screws. Then hand tighten them connecting the crossbars to the side rails. Since I have 6 total crossbars plus the wind deflector, there will be a total of 28 locations that will need to be screwed on. So repeat this process till all locations are secured. When attaching the wind deflector, I use the lower two mounting locations so that it's attached closest to the truck, minimizing wind noise. For the crossbars, please make sure that the opening of the crossbar is facing the right direction when installing these. If you're enjoying this video so far, Please smash that like and subscribe button to support the channel. Lastly, let's complete this installation by tightening the screws on all 28 locations and installing this roof rack on your truck. You're gonna need a T30 bit screwdriver and a helping hand on this step. Tighten all 28 locations to ensure a secure fit between the crossbars and the side rails as well as the wind deflector. Grab your roof rack and head over to your Tacoma. I got my dad helping me to make this process a little easier. Simply bring the print suit up to your truck roof. Steps will help in this process. Line it up with the spaces we previously installed. Then grab the remaining hardware and simply screw these on. Don't over tighten right away until all 10 locations have been secured. There will be two in the rear, one in the middle, and two at the front. Repeat this step on the other side. Grab your drill and tighten the locations that's easy to access. Then use a wrench for the tighter locations. Repeat this on both sides and enjoy your brand new Princess Studios roof rack. And that's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this DIY Princess rack installation. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and press that bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.